Hello again. Today I'm going to be doing another how to build a blank aesthetic wardrobe video and if you haven't seen this series already, I basically talk about a bunch of different fashion aesthetics and talk about where they come from, essentials for that kind of wardrobe, and where to shop for that. So today we're doing Whimsy Goth which is basically like a 90s witch kind of aesthetic and I did do a video where I showed off outfit ideas for a 90s witch vibe but since the term Whimsy Goth is popping up a lot lately, I thought I'd do a video totally dedicated on how to build a Whimsy a goth wardrobe. But before we get started, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and follow me on Instagram at the Dress Leaf and on TikTok at Dress Leaf. So like the name suggests, Whimsicoth is kind of a mix of whimsical and goth styles. It's inspired a lot by gothic fairy tales and witchcraft, and shows like Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Sabrina the Teenage Witch, stories from the Grimm Brothers, and Guillermo del Toro's works. It's very ethereal, whimsical, feminine, and romantic, but dark at the same time, which I just love. I always love dark romantic styles. It's also got kind of a dark bohemian vibe with long flowy layers and earthy colors and rich jewel tones. So colors like greens, oranges, dark reds, and cosmic purples and blues. There's a lot of celestial and astrological inspiration as well. So you'll see things like star prints, uh, the moon as imagery as well. For inspiration, you can look to Florence in the Machine, Stevie Nicks, Anna Sui, which actually this top I'm wearing right now is a collaboration between Anna Sui and Free People. So kind of dressing for the theme here. And you can look to Lisa Bonet for inspiration too. The term was first used to describe home decor that was really popular in the 80s and 90s, but it can definitely translate to fashion as well. And the term has definitely been popularized by TikTok lately, as are many aesthetics that are gaining traction today. I also feel like astrology and witchcraft have been getting popular on TikTok lately, so I feel like that also contributes to the popularity of Whimsy Goth, as well as the 90s and Y2K aesthetics coming back, and with that, 90s shows like Charmed and Buffy which definitely serves as inspiration for this aesthetic and similar influences of darker aesthetics like Dark Academia and Goblin Core are also getting really popular at the moment so I feel like these darker aesthetics are kind of gaining traction. So let's talk about essential items you would see in the Whimsagoth aesthetic. First off, for general details, I will definitely look for lace, leather, velvet, lots of velvet for sure, and floral patterns or paisley patterns. I'd look for flowy layers and flowy silhouettes in general, and also kind of a tattered or worn look, so thrift shopping is definitely your friend here. You kind of want that casual, worn down, thrifted vibe. And not only do you see a lot of layering of clothing, you also see a lot of layering of jewelry. For tops, I would look for corsets, bell sleeves, sheer tops, flowy silhouettes, and waistcoats can also work if you style them right. For outerwear, look for duster cardigans, tight or ribbed cardigans. Fur trim cardigans also work well to give that Y2K vibe. And sheer cover-up style cardigans would look really good in this aesthetic as well. I feel like we see a lot of lace and sheer mesh materials. For bottoms, I would look for bell bottoms or flared pants, maxi skirts and maxi dresses, and slip dresses very reminiscent of the 90s. For shoes, I'd go for chunky shoes or boots. Definitely look for shoes that look like they're from the 90s or early thousands because this aesthetic definitely takes a lot of inspiration from that time period. And finally for accessories, I'd go for a lot of layered jewelry like layered necklaces, um, celestial inspired jewelry, so maybe something with stars or the moon or the sun on it and I'd go for lots of rings as well. And next I just wanted to talk about some places to shop for Whimsy Goth. So first of all, there's thrifting of course. I always mention thrifting because it's just a sustainable and affordable way to get the aesthetic wardrobe of your dreams. And I feel like this applies to Whimsy Goth as well. I think you could find a lot of those bohemian style and a lot of clothes from the 90s and early thousands that can fit this aesthetic. Um, you can also try Etsy which the prices will vary because of course there's different sellers, it's a marketplace, but I'm sure you'll be able to find bohemian clothing on there as well as a lot of jewelry that can fit this aesthetic. And then I would look at bohemian style stores like the Free People, a lot of loose flowy silhouettes and boho style clothing, Anthropology as well, which I feel like is kind of the older sister to Free People. Minga London is a sustainable option for a bunch of different aesthetics including this one. I have a long brown midi skirt from there that I feel like would really fit this aesthetic and it does tend to be pricier as do most sustainable brands but they have really cute clothing pieces for a lot of different aesthetics so I always love mentioning them 
Flare Street is also another sustainable brand that focuses on flared or bell-bottom pants and that can definitely fit the women's goth aesthetic. They have a lot of velvet ones as well and like color palettes that really fit that whimsy goth vibe. Spell and Alter are also sustainable options that have really cute boho and witchy style dresses as well as whimsy and row, yet another sustainable option with kind of more of a cottagecore vibe but I feel like they can also fit this aesthetic. I do plan to do a whole video on sustainable brands for an aesthetic wardrobe so stay tuned for that. But otherwise, this is pretty much all I wanted to cover for Whimsy Cloth. Really hope you liked this video and hope you learned a little bit more about a new aesthetic. And if you did, give this video a like, subscribe if you aren't already, comment down below what aesthetics you want me to cover in the future and what outfits you want to see in the future. And I will see you guys next time.